So whether you're a creator or a streamer or someone that's just into filmmaking, doing stuff like I do right now, you're probably wondering what kind of microphone you should use. Now, there's so many brands out there and so many different types. Some I just wanna go on to two of the popular ones that I have here, which is the VideoMic Pro Plus and the VideoMic Go. Now, there's a $200 difference between this, and we need to find out if it's actually worth an extra $200. So let's get to it. So I like both of these microphones very much. Now the Rode is definitely a lot more expensive. It has a lot more features than the other one. We're gonna go ahead and look at some of the features that the Pro Plus has that the other one doesn't. We're just gonna look at the differences. So you'll notice right away that the onboard controls, you have a, you know, a gain, a high pass filter, the on and off switch and stuff like that. The diaphragm on, on these are very similar at 13 point 97 millimeters versus the 12.70 millimeters on the video mic go there's on the video mic pro plus you have the high pass filter ranging from 75 hertz to 150 hertz which the other one does not have you don't have any type of adjustment like this so that right there does make it a little bit better now most of these controls like the high boost that you can get is a plus five at a seven kilohertz versus nothing. When you have the high gain adjustment, you have the negative 10 decibel and you have a, a plus 20 decibel, which right now I'm using neither. I, I decided to turn it off, but we're gonna go ahead and test that in a minute. Now you also notice on the Pro Plus, you also get indicators such as the power and lead status, and you have six different types of statuses for when the battery's starting to go out and everything else. Now the frequency ranges are different for sure. You have 20 hertz to 20 20 kilohertz versus 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz. So there is a big difference there. Uh, you may not notice it that much if you're not someone that always is working with audio like myself, I'd probably notice it, but to the normal ear, you're probably not gonna notice that at all. Now on the, on the Rode, uh, video mic pro plus you obviously have a battery where the go does not have a battery which i call that a positive because you don't have to worry about charging your batteries or anything like that now the weights between between the two the pro plus is comes in at 122 grams versus 73 grams on the video mic go so let's go ahead and get some some tests between these two because they're definitely you know very similar as far as the diaphragm and the kilohertz. So let's go ahead and test it. All right, so here is my audio test with the video mic go. This is with absolutely nothing added to it. I'm not gonna add any music behind here and you'll be able to hear just the microphone. What I've noticed with these two is that you do get a little bit of buzz or hiss in the background. And that's, that's part of the result of not having any filters. And also, you know, the diaphragm is smaller but it definitely is not bad if you're using it and then you'll know, view in a post edit and you're actually editing your uh, sound and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and edit the sound a little bit so you can kind of see what your final result will be. All right, so this is the audio with it, actually with me adding my own you know, settings and stuff like that, what I normally would use for like a podcast type voice or something I would use for like game you know, voiceovers. Now, if you use something like this, you're definitely gonna want to uh, you know, not want to do it live, but if you do something live, you can still use this and you won't really notice that, you know, you know, a little bit high noise and stuff like that. Maybe you even heard my dog outside. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try the Video Mic uh, Pro Plus again. All right, so now we have the Video Mic Pro Plus back on again. And as you can tell, it is definitely better than the other microphone. Now, with this one, I don't have any of the high pass filters or anything else on it. And we're only using the microphone itself. And with default state, there's nothing on in the background. And my dog is barking and driving me nuts right now. This, this microphone, is it worth an extra $200? I personally think so. Um, it definitely picks up better than how the, the Go does. Um, but if you're just starting out and you know, you're on a budget, you definitely want to go with the video might go it's not bad it definitely picks up what you what you want if you're using it outdoors you definitely 
uh, pick up a dead cat or something like that. But anyway, uh, is it worth the extra $200? I think so. It, it's like more of a personal decision that you're gonna have to make with these two, but you definitely uh, get more from the Video Mic Pro Plus than you do with the Go. The Go is definitely kind of in the name. It's a Go type uh, microphone, so it's made for you know your mobile type of you know vlogging and stuff like that. You know being on the go so you don't want to bring something that's you know really you know industrial or anything like that but for commercial type things if you're uh really want to try to get your 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 sound and your voice you know, to a professional level you definitely want to go with something like the view mic pro plus because it is in the name pro <laughs> anyway i want to thank everybody for watching this video make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel y'all take care and happy gaming